Well, we have got a possible frost coming tonight. It's supposed to get in in the mid thirties or so. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick all these tomatoes. I didn't know I had this many, but I had a bunch of tomatoes on this um, uh, red snapper uh, tomato plant. Good gosh. I've got lots and lots of tomatoes. I saw it was blooming a few weeks ago, and I, I pulled that little old limb off yesterday, branch. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off in preparation for a uh, possible frost in the morning, which will kill these two plants. They are in pots. Conceivably, I could bring them in, and I'm gonna do that with two, um, with four uh, jalapeno plants uh four pepper plants over two of them jalapeno two of them bell got them ready in the to slide in the barn and uh they're in these trays here and just easy not easy they're heavy but uh you know easy enough to slide around also got two pepper plants that uh i need to go ahead and strip and uh got some nice peppers on them. That's a uh, Mamma Mia Giallo from Haas Tools. Got the seed from Haas and uh, makes a really nice, it's an Italian, it's not hot, an Italian kind of a cross between a bell pepper and a, a sweet banana maybe. And uh, they get real big. I haven't fertilized these in a couple of months and they're they're not getting big, but uh, really good eating, thick flesh, good, good, good pepper. I, I, I definitely recommend these. This is kind of a, I, I've, in the past I've grown a Marconi Red. It's an, another Italian pepper. And I believe that's just about what this one is. Uh, uh, it's a, to me the same thing as a Marconi Red. It, just a different name maybe, or a different, something different in the hybridization perhaps. But I've got, uh, now some of these peppers look pretty bad, pretty rough shape got uh, boogers and stuff on them but i'm not going to save these pepper plants uh even though they're in earth boxes and i certainly could but uh shoot for for first of december tomorrow is november 30th so we're talking about the very end of november to be getting peppers like that in zone eight that ain't bad another one that one looks good that one looks good. I'll strip them. I'll strip these pepper plants. Um, but I don't have to. The beauty of these, of, of raising in containers, whether it be an earth box or an, a grow bag or even a, a, a wicking tub, is that, you know, with a little effort, because they're not light once they get 10, those are 10 gallon earth bags, or grow bags. <laughs> And once they get uh, full of soil and that soil gets wet, 10 gallons of soil, and uh, and get some rain in them and uh, been watering them, whatever, those things get pretty doggone heavy. I don't know what that weighs, but I would bet you it weighs 75, 80 pounds, maybe more than that. Um, but they can be drug over to, uh, to, uh, to get them out of the weather, to a greenhouse or something like that and, and put in uh, sheltered uh, environment. Peppers are a perennial to a certain extent. Uh, they'll live several years if protected. Gardening in containers, you can shelter these dudes and on a cold night or a night you're going to get frost or something like that. Take them inside. Take them in a barn. Take them in a greenhouse. Take them in a, in a protected area and uh, save them. Uh, that's the whole, that's the point. Especially pepper plants because I believe they will live multi-years if protected. So here's the peppers I was telling you about. These these two, again, in 10 gallon grow bags. Uh, and that's the grow bag there. And uh, did those in the spring. Still viable, still, I mean, producing some nice, nice peppers. Now those are giant jalapenos. These aren't giant because I haven't fertilized them in the last couple of months like I should. But this putting out some really really nice peppers and some i mean just prolifically just got gosh there's a, there's 50 75 peppers on those two plants maybe more than that uh this is a bell i've got one that i didn't pick i missed that the other day look at that 
And I picked uh, five or six, five or six peppers uh, yesterday, and I missed that one because it was it was way down there. That's a, just a good bell pepper again from Haas, and then this something I found somewhere else, and it's called a Cajun bell pepper. That's about as big as they get, but it's uh, just got a good taste and it's just a little bit warm just a little bit warm not not too bad uh i can eat those can't eat the jalapenos uh without hurting <laughs> but i can eat those uh so i'm saving the two bells and i'm saving the two jalapenos um i'm i'll probably keep one my neighbor said he wanted one if not uh, my brother-in-law wants one and i'll just give both of them away I like them for hot, making hot sauce, but I can't just sit down and eat one. I wish I could. Dad, I'm, I'm really trying. I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to uh, elevate my taste buds to uh, disregard the heat, but it's just so far I'm not able to do that. But this is a beauty. Again, the beauty of container gardening is at this time of year, if you've got these in a tray like this or something like that, just grab a hold of it and pull it to safety. So the, tonight I will get these two, um, these four plants, these four, uh, these two tubs, four plants into safety inside the barn. And um, we, they will live to produce another day. Go take that into mama. We may stuff that dude. That's pretty. I'm going to do a video soon comparing grow bags to earth boxes to uh, wicking tubs and, and tell you what I like the best tell you the characteristics about each that are good and um and that might be something you want to look uh, look for if you're interested in container gardening and um you know it if, if whether you've got a lot of land or not i've got 17 acres i could be plowing up who knows what but i'm getting older and this is just a very easy way to do this. And that's the main reason I'm doing it. I'm doing it for experimentation for me and for you to show you, but uh, I'm also doing it for, uh, for just purposes of uh, just getting a little older, but I'm still gonna plant in the dirt. I'm gonna plant corn, peas, uh, beans, um, other things in the dirt. Uh, I do those traditionally, but I just wanna show you these. These are doing spectacular in grow bags 10 gallon grow bags and i really like the results i've had off all my grow bags off all my containers but the grow bags uh have really surprised me really surprised me well here they are drug in the barn and i decided to save the mamma mia giallia those are just too too good am i going to get me a good start on them next year if they'll survive the winter in this earth box if i can protect them on the cold nights but I brought them in. Here they are. And we're gone.